This is the biggest hoax that any reputable news establishment has ever pulled. This is a photo of a family in Switzerland harvesting spaghetti from their family spaghetti tree. It was part of a three-minute segment reported by the popular BBC Current Affairs program Panorama on April 1st, 1957. And yes, it was an April Fool. In the late 1950s, spaghetti was relatively unknown in the UK, who had only completely stopped rationing from the Second World War in 1954. Britain's first Italian restaurant, Spaghetti House, opened in London in 1955. So many people are unaware of how spaghetti was made. It was considered an exotic delicacy and was purchased in a can with tomato sauce. The footage showed the family gathering their spaghetti harvest into a basket after a mild winter and the virtual disappearance of the evil spaghetti weevil. The narrator explains that the spaghetti is so uniform in length thanks to years of patient endeavor by plant breeders who succeeded in producing the perfect spaghetti. The segment closes by showing the family celebrating their harvest over a plate of fresh spaghetti and a mug of wine with other members of the community in a sort of harvest festival. The story was dreamed up by Panorama cameraman Charles Dieger, who had grown up in Austria. One of his teachers used to tease his classmates that they were so stupid that they would believe that spaghetti grew on trees if someone told them so. Dieger pitched the story and the BBC sent him off with a budget of £100 to shoot it. Respected broadcaster Richard Dimbleby provided the voiceover, which made it even more believable. Richard reportedly loved the idea and jumped at the chance to be a part of it. It is estimated that 8 million people tuned into the broadcast. Keep in mind that at the time, only about 44% of British homes had televisions, and if you owned one, you had very limited options of shows. The next day, the BBC was inundated by phone calls from people requesting to know how they could grow their very own spaghetti tree. The BBC told callers to place a sprig of spaghetti in a tin of tomato sauce and hope for the best. Maybe I'll have to try that one out.